Here we are again, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever it is to you. So off camera, I have a battle buddy of mine, a friend of mine who doesn't wanna be on camera, um, but we were just talking about something very, very important. And we've been talking about it all day and, and you know, over the last couple of days. So the problem is they have run into a professional problem where they're facing a challenge in their life. And the problem is not so much that they face the challenge is that they put all their faith in the hands of others um, for support. This person goes above and beyond and does everything that they can do to support everybody else in their personal time, their professional time. It doesn't matter vacations, weekends, it, th this person will do anything that you ask them to do and then some, and then they'll call and text you to check up on you, right? But in their moment of need, their circle of friends drop the ball, right? So it, it, it came down to this for me was, it wasn't so much that they needed those people to stand up and do something for them, but it was just a support mechanism because it was like, oh, did you think about this? Did you think about that? At no point did these people say, I'm going to help you do this or I'm going to do that. It was a, oh, well, that sucks. Well, go talk to this person. Go talk. No. When someone gives you everything they got and they do everything for you, look them in the face and give it back to them. You know, we can all be takers in life or we can be givers. And unfortunately, we surround ourselves with takers our whole life, right? So for the ones that are givers, really look around and think about the people you're giving to and what you're giving them and why you're giving it to them. I tell you right now, go on your phone and bring up the last 10 text conversations you have. Kind of scroll through them a little bit and find out if you're a giver or a taker. Because if you were saying you're welcome 10 times more than you're saying thank you, there's a chance that you're giving but there's also a chance you're being taken, right? And what I mean by that is people will continue to bleed you and drain you the longer you keep giving them. Now, I'm not trying to create a hostile area where people don't help each other out. That's actually the opposite of what I'm saying. You need to help people out enough to where they can stand on their own two feet and be self-supportive and self-sustaining. That is the whole point is if you can sustain yourself, then you have energy, time, time, and resources to give other people to build a strong community, right? All these videos kind of go back and back on top of each other. And we talk about uh, community and motivation and drive. You have to strengthen your community to be a stronger person yourself, because at some point you're going to fall. At some point you're going to be laying flat on your back, looking up at the sky, and you're going to need somebody to stand over you and extend their hand and pull you up to your feet and dust you off, pat you on the back and push you back in the fight, right? So with that being said, are you a giver or are you a taker? Now that you look through those 10 messages or anything like that, find out, are you saying you're welcome or let me know if you need something more than someone saying, hey, I'm here for you if you need me? Because believe it or not, at some point today, you're going to face a situation or you're going to find a challenge. Or you're going to find yourself in a, a, a predicament to where you are going to need information from somebody else. Getting something from somebody else can be as easy as, hey, I need to figure out how to do this. So you lead them down the path for them to figure out how to do it. Don't do that for them. Help them learn how to do it. That way, next time they can do it and do it again and do it again and do it again. And hey, what do you know now that they're the best at it? They can help somebody else do it. And now you have just two, three, four, five, six orders of effect, right? Where six people down the line know how to do the same thing that you know how to do. Now you're six times as strong with six times as many people so you can get six times the amount of work done, right? And that works for any number. You can run it all the way up to 100, 200, doesn't matter. So when it comes down to it, look at your phone, look at yourself. Are you giving or are you taking? Find that healthy balance between give and take. The push or pull, right? Find a steady state where you're giving out just as much as you're taking in. Build a stronger community to build a stronger you to build a stronger universe.